Hi everyone. Hello, happy Friday. Hey TC fam. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. Just come closer, baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I can see there. Okay. Hi Julie, Jet Black, welcome, welcome. Hi Couture, Bree, so glad that you all are here. Welcome, welcome. Hey Sarah. Bianca, thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday, everyone. We're so glad to see you all. Um, and we were so looking forward to going live tonight. Like it's been, we've been waiting all week. Maybe we shouldn't wait so long because we were way excited about going live with you all tonight. Hi, Jet Black. Hello, thank you all for the likes. Thank you so much. I want to say a special shout out to our moderators who are here today. Thank you, B, for your subscription. Mm -hmm. That means so much to us. Um, thank you to our moderators who are here today to help us just have a great conversation and dialogue. Do you want to know where everybody's from? I would, yes. I'm going to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> where is everyone from? If you could drop us a little note that says where you're, where you're living, what country, we would love it. Let here us go. know. The help. UK. Yay. Canada. I love it. Hey, B. We love you too. Jamaica. Hi, Jay. France, Sweden, wow, amazing, Colombia, but living Nebraska, in London. we love it. Thank you, China, for the gift. Australia, Canada again. Hey, Leah. Hi, Lulu. Ebony, thank you so much for being here. Wow, thank you all for subscribing. We appreciate that. Hey, Chastity. Chastity set her alarm. Oh, my gosh. From East, East Texas. Texas. You're not too far from us. Very good. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, Ebony. Thank you, Isabella. All right, from Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. We are so glad to see you. Thanks so much for being here. You guys, we have like a couple of things we want to talk about today, but um, we also just want to take some questions from you all. For those of you who are new um, to us, um, my name is Tracy, and this is my gorgeous wife, Cheryl, and we are Wife Talk on, um, on TikTok. And so we have a beautiful TC fam, as you can see, from all over the world, and we just could not wait to connect with you all today. So Cheryl, do you want to say something about yourself before we um, get started? <laughs> she doesn't want to. Um, Cheryl, she's really not shy, you guys, but she's a beautiful interior designer. She does amazing work. Um, she is not shy, but the camera does something Just to her. Off. Just start her off, Just okay. Off. Um, and I'm Tracy, and I'm an educator. And on the side, we are TC fam. Like, that's, that's who we really are. So, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Doc Study. Great. Good to see you. Thank you for moderating today. We love you too. Hi, Marissa. She's still improving on the no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jason, for the gifts. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. All right, you guys. Um, I think we're gonna just, it seems like only people who, who sub can com comment. That's not what we want. Um, I don't know why that is. How can I fix that? I don't think so. We have lots of folks commenting. Hi, Cindy. Thank you so much, B. Thank you, Lucy, for the gifts. Appreciate that. Gabby, are you here? Other moderators? We see lots of folks commenting, and we only have a couple of subscribers, so I don't know that that's the case. We want everyone to be able to comment. comment. It's limited to only subs. How do I fix that, you guys? Can someone chat me how to fix that? Because I want to fix that right now. We want everyone to be able to talk. Okay, baby, can you just talk while I try to figure this out? Oh, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys. We want to make sure we can hear from everyone. I guess I can't say no. I did. I got Comment. a little bit better this week because okay. I said, okay. So it's progress. But I wanted to tell you something that uh, we were so excited about. Tracy uh, looked at the, um, what do you call it, baby? The... Um, there was a graph that told how many of our viewers were from which city, which country. Yeah. 
And, you know, of course the number one country was the U.S. because we're here, but we were so excited that the number two city was Johannesburg. And so, and it was South Africa yeah. and um, Nairobi, Nairobi, Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, which was so Amazing. exciting to us. And uh, the UK, of course, and uh, Brazil, um, Canada. What were the other ones? Oh my I'm gosh, missing. so much. But those were like the top yeah, five, which yeah. was so cool. The number one city was Houston. And then we jumped over to South Africa. So super fun. Hello, Brie. Hey, Ariel, Claudia, new viewer here from UK. Fantastic. Happy Pride Month, everyone. We are your favorite aunties, moms, friends, Aww. sisters, cousins, girlfriends, whatever it is you want us to be. We're all TC fam. Thank you so much for the gift. So you guys, we're going to talk about a couple of things today. And then um, we want you all to shoot questions. Uh, and the first thing we want to talk about, because you all kept asking questions about why did I put Cheryl in the friend zone mm -hmm. for so long? Like, why are we friends so long? Mm -hmm. So we want to just kind of talk about that. I, don't... I finally asked the same question. Mm -hmm. But we talked about that last Friday, so I but, hope you guys know. Yeah, so you all had questions about why she's in the friend zone. Hi. Um, and, you know, I think we just want to talk about the importance of, like, when you're getting to know someone, the importance of taking the time to establish a really solid friendship and connection with them um, before you go to the other parts of the relationship. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with that. I think it's very careful, it's very important when you're getting to know someone um, to kind of check yourself and see what you're leading with mm -hmm. because a lot of times you, you can lead with things prematurely and um, like, let's say you like the fact that they're, I don't know, take you on vacations. Well, what do you do when you get home from the vacation? Or you like the fact that they're really beautiful. Well, what happens when you see them with no makeup? Those kinds of things sound so simple. But if you're looking at the wrong things, when they're not there, you say, why don't I love this person anymore? Well, maybe it's because that's that you were looking for something um, instead of feeling for something. So we're about feeling. So no, really, the reality is um, someone asked what our non-negotiable is because we are committed to, you know, loving one another. I would say respect is the number one, mm -hmm. that regardless of how we're feeling or if we have a disagreement, we have to lead with respect. And I think we have a very healthy respect for each other and for the relationship. Um, and we're grown, you guys. So it's like grown folks love. It's just, you know, something that we've evolved into. I can't say I've always been here, um, but my wife has helped me get here. And I think I probably have helped her get here too, I hope. Big grown. That's right. Big grown. <laughs> Um, Dad Chick, welcome to the, welcome TC fam. Yes, yes, yes. Cindy said no is a complete sentence. <laughs> that is Cheryl. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, we were friends for a long time, you guys. Again, if you're new here, we were friends on Facebook for five years before yeah. we ever even met in person. If you don't know the story, check out our, um, our page and you'll find the story. Um, but, but by the time that we expressed or I expressed that, you know, yeah, I do feel some kind of way about you and... I think I kind of love you. She got cornered. I didn't say I think I love you. No. I said, oh my God, I've always yeah. loved you. <laughs> so I was very I dramatic. It up last week, but it was very emotional. Yes. Yeah, so that's kind of what happened. And then once we decided that we were not, we were going to move beyond the friendship, then um, of course we were in a good place. Are we Jamaican heritage? No, we're not actually. No. But I've heard that a lot, so I must look like it. You can see that. Okay, good. How do you get your, your lips so perfect? Well, I don't use a liner. And a lot of people have asked, well, what is your liner? But more people have asked, what is your lipstick? It's Sephora, and it's the cream lip stain, and it's color 95. And it stays on all day. I can eat. I can sleep in it if I don't want to take. It just stays. It's not easy to get off. But uh, it's well worth it, especially if you have long days. And, um, you know, you don't have time to kind of fresh it, refresh it. And they have a ton of colors. It's their brand. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Thank you. Are you a voice actor? No, she's Me? not. No. <laughs> so, again, just the importance of you all, like, you know, finding a very good, solid friendship just to start a relationship is really super, um, super important. Hi, little lady. Were you same gender loving before meeting? Yes. Yes. 
That's my Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you so much. You guys have such comforting energy. Thank you. Hey, from Mexico. Can we say our ages? I just turned 50 in March, so like I'm finally in the 50 club. And my wife? 61. Yes. So that is our small little age gap that we have here going. And again, like, you know, age doesn't matter. You know, none of that stuff matters if you have a really solid connection, you understand each other, you love each other, you respect each other. If you're looking for the same things in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then That's you laugh really together. Age. You got to laugh together. Yes. Lots Constant. of laughing together. Constant. Yes, what? No way. Yes, 50 and 61. Thank you, Lisa. I feel really grown now because I'm 50. <laughs> like, that just makes me feel really, really good. Um, you know, we want to talk about something else. We weren't going to talk about this today, but you all have been saying you want us to have another ceremony because you all weren't able to come to the first or the second or the third ceremony. Mm -hmm. My wife didn't know that I was going to talk about this today. No, but that's all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to talk? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, we're having another ceremony for you because you weren't able to join us. So we are going to, at some point, get ideas from you guys and talk about dates and um, let you hear our vows and do some really special, yeah, we're going to do some really special things for you. So that is the news. Those of you who joined us tonight, so welcome, is that we are going to have a vow renewal ceremony and we're going to do it live. Um, and we're gonna do that so that all of you here can be a part of our special day. Um, we've not landed on a date yet because my wife didn't even know that I was gonna bring that up, but we're going to do. Yes, viral bridesmaids. That's right, you're gonna be our viral <laughs> bridesmaids and groomsmen. <laughs> most bride bridesmaids in history <laughs> so um ideas you guys you know when should we have our vow renewal what month should we should we do that because we really want to have a lead up you know of course to make sure we get ready so if you have ideas <laughs> sponsored ceremony by true Lux. <laughs> they should <laughs> they should we've probably given them some business <laughs> they should in the fall that's probably a good idea someone said this I, month can we get ready this I, month well, June? we got ready in 24 hours for the first ceremony, so we could get ready anytime. We did, you guys. Yeah. We got ready in 24 hours, and you already saw pictures of that likely. Uh, yes. During Pride Month, that may not be a bad idea. That's true. Okay, zodiac signs. Okay. Do you want me to go? Yeah. I'm a Leo and a redheaded Leo, and I think that says something. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean, you guys? She's a redheaded <laughs> Leo. <laughs> all the leos in here yes um yeah. and i am an aries we love you too rb we love you so much and i, I am an aries she said mm -hmm. fiery yes what two fire that? signs you guys oh my god yes so let's talk leos about that rule. let's talk about that because we are two fire signs so if you know anything about two fire signs what do you know about fire signs fire yes <laughs> <laughs> we love you too jay <laughs> is that um it just means that you know we are very passionate about our opinions and our thoughts and our ideas perfect match yes we're very committed to what we believe yes we're mm -hmm. very committed and we love to share it <laughs> Passion. <laughs> we have no problem saying our opinion and how we feel yes as leo and aries are considered soulmates that's yeah, true they are mm -hmm. i May I say something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When uh, I found out Tracy was an Aries, and we spoke about this a little bit last week, but I was super excited because every woman in my life is Aries. My mom, my two daughters are both Aries, and I thought, I got this. And But one of the things I found to be very interesting was they said that Leo and Aries are the best sign together, the best match. They're both, both very strong fire signs, but the reason it's a good match is because the Aries will acquiesce to the Leo. What does that mean? <laughs> I think I heard you say that acquiesce. I covered your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, Whatever. You know. Okay, great question. So then how do we handle disagreement? This is a great question, this Loni. Is, yeah, this is good. So you want to start? Go ahead. She didn't say no, but she yeah, wanted to. I'm getting better. You guys, when you have two fire signs, you have two very independent women who are strong in their beliefs. 
um, it is, you know, disagreements are going to happen. So I think the first thing you think about is how can we disagree respectfully while our partner still understands that we love them, even though we have a different opinion is a very important part of it. Um, what else would you say is important when we disagree? I think it's very important that um, it's very easy to look at someone when they're kind of spinning out of control or in disagreement with you and you're just not meeting eye to eye. Mm -hmm. I think it's easy to look at them and say, you're wrong and this is why you're wrong and this is how I feel and this is just the way I am and you should have known this and you know, I'm just going to be what I'm going to be. And I think that's not the best approach. Because if you can, if you can make yourself, and this is, this takes training, you know, you have to really put it in your mind that, wait a minute, I know that's how I feel, but I may not be right either. I know what they're saying is offensive, but stop and look at it and say, why are they saying what they're saying? And not just about you, but where's that coming from? You know, is it a place of hurt? Is it a pl place of um, insecurity or fear or whatever? And when you can begin to see your, your, your partner as human with fears and all kinds of real emotions, you begin to have empathy and that changes the game. Mm -hmm. that's, really, that's a really good question. Like, I mean, good point is really kind of understand the other person's point of view. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have disagreements. Um, yes, we don't always, you know, get it right when we disagree. We're not perfect. Um, one of the major disagreements we have is the temperature in the house. <laughs> Daily. The Nothing. thermostat. Yeah. So you guys, I don't know if y'all have this issue, but I like it to be really, really cold. Like real cold. Like 65 at night. 67, cold. 69. Yeah. And Cheryl? Yeah. I, 74 is fine for me. Fine. Yeah. 74. Yeah. Degrees. So it gets turned down to... 67, it used to be 65, but we've come together, we're closer. So I'm no, no longer 74, she's no longer 65. So we've settled on about 71. Okay. Or sometimes, hang on baby, one time, one time, I can't even think now. Sometimes it's 71, sometimes it's still 69. And sometimes there's a heater next to my bed and a fan next to Tracy. That's how bad it gets. Go ahead baby, sorry. Hi. Hi. Hello. I didn't mean to do that. We got two that. beautiful ladies open though, Quanta. I have no idea how I just did that. <laughs> well, hello there. Uh, uh, so um, gonna sorry, guys. We're going to have to kick y'all out because we're just getting started with our lives. Sorry. What are you guys doing? Can you just, just jump into our live? We got to let you go. Okay. okay. That is hilarious. Bye, you guys. Bye. <laughs> I think I pressed the wrong button or something. That's so funny. They're all so cute. Hi. They are. But <laughs> can, can You're stuck until you decide to leave. No, you have to jump so, off, you guys. So, so what you do is you <sighs> go to the hostess on the right, bottom left. Uh huh. So it says Press it. Button. There's like the that thingy. And uh, then, uh, then it has us. And then at the top right. There's an X. There's like a, there's like a conjoined, you know, circle. Affinity sign with an X on it. And then you can put disconnect. But that means we'll lose our lives, right? No, you won't. You're just no. disconnecting from this group chat. Okay, are you going to come back into our live and see us? I followed you, yes. So after Thank we're done with the battle, I'll go in and I'll see you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're back. Y'all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is because I don't know what in the hell I'm doing. So <laughs> that was just a minor interruption. But you guys know in seriousness, I want to really talk seriously about disagreements because when we um, moved in, when I moved in here, that was my choice to move in here. Like we had both had our own places for a very long time, you know? Yeah. Um, I didn't even move in until we got married. So we had a lot of adjustments to make. Like I love candles, I love different fragrances, I like the house cold, the way I like my different sheets folded and towels, all those things seem minor. But if you're used to like doing your own thing, they can become an issue if you don't really manage it. And so I really love that Cheryl listened to me. Um, she honored kind of where, what I was feeling in the moment and she didn't invalidate my, my feelings, even though she may have thought it was petty. <laughs> um, and she didn't, so I really no. appreciate that. No, it was really important to me that Tracy felt at home and, and felt like this was her home and could express herself however she wanted. So, um, you know, I didn't burn candles. No big deal. The house is filled up with candles now, and I love it. So, you know, just because you haven't done something doesn't mean you won't learn to appreciate it, mm -hmm. you know, for the first time or again, you know? So, 
yeah, just, just kind of go with the flow and Validation. give your partner that little gift. And sometimes it's so small, but it's so big to them. Thank you. Have I thought of going blonde? I have not thought of going, going blonde, but your, your blow dry, your dry bar girl is here. She just said, hi. Hi. Compromise is so important. Yes, yes, yes. Fully mm -hmm. accepting the other. What else? A hundred percent. Yeah. You know, it's supporting the person. You know, and that's that's comes in so many different forms. But sometimes Tracy, we both work from home, but sometimes Tracy is is working and she literally doesn't have a moment during the day to get a bottle of water or um, get get a bite to eat or anything. And so I like to to kind of anticipate anticipate what she might need. And so I'm always just kind of checking in, you know, and I, I knock on the door and I deliver the laundry and say housekeeping. And then I come in with a bottle of water and a, a little banana and whatever, because I know what it feels like to work crazy hours and not have support. And, you know, we're so used, all of us, you know, or most of us are so used to taking care of ourselves. And so we think that that makes us really strong and it does on one level, but on another level, it's, there's a, a different kind of strength that comes in allowing someone from allowing someone to help you and to say, I, I needed that. Thank you. You know, so um, just a different kind of strength and something else to think about. All right. Can you talk about being single and dating? Oh my gosh. Um, I was like committed to being a bachelorette for the rest of my entire life until I met this one. Um, so I, I mean, I, I really probably am not a good dating expert. I mean, I just probably dated until, you know, a year or two and then I was like, okay, I'm done with that. So I'm probably not a good example. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Um, do you want to talk about being single and dating? Not really. Okay. No, we're just, you guys we're married probably, now. You so. guys can probably tell us a few things. <laughs> the ones that, yeah, exactly. Yin Su said, I'm just going to date. <laughs> Um, hi, Rich. We love you too, Michaela. Thanks for the follow. Favorite meal that Cheryl makes. What's your favorite meal I make? The favorite meal that Cheryl makes, I'd probably say is chicken, um, um, chicken and peppers, Moroccan chicken and peppers. I really love. It's really good. Hi, pal. Okay, we're also going to talk about um, how do we care for each other in the relationship. Well, you talked a little bit about that. Anything else? About that listening to one another, honoring each other's needs, like really seeking out what makes that person feel safe and feel um, valued. That is a huge thing. And that's that comes from a lot of communicating and listening uh, to your partner so they feel valued and what they have to say. Again, whether you agree or not, it's I hear you. And then if you still don't get it, try to figure out where they're coming from. You know, try to bridge that gap. But instead of uh, putting, putting the responsibility on them to make sure you understand, take it on yourself, you know, and really engage. And um, I think it, it will change a lot of things. I agree. Thank you. We love you too, Leah. How do we meet? We have a whole several um, videos on that. We met on Facebook. We were friends on Facebook for five years. And that is how we met. Latricia, we love it here too. You guys, we need to make a t-shirt with no one. We're going to do that. So we've already talked about we having were, merch. Yeah, and we were looking into it this week. So that's that's coming soon. We definitely have to have no. Um, Cheryl, love language? Love language. Physical touch and words of affirmation for sure. And mine are acts of service and quality time. So we really do, um, we really try to be intentional as best we can about leaning into each other's love language. Um, I know that she enjoys um, affirmation. So I give lots of cards and love surprises. I think I'm gonna post a video of a surprise tomorrow. One okay. of the surprises that I got Cheryl, I'm gonna post that tomorrow. It's funny, she loves to surprise. But when from the time I met her, she told me I don't like surprises, but that's not true. It is true. Well. She's been surprised several times and she didn't mind it. So, well, let me just tell you why. Because when you're an introvert, because I'm the introvert, I know people may not believe that, but when you are, you don't want to be surprised like walking into a bunch of people in a room and you're not sure how to react or surprise a birthday party. Like, I don't like things like that. And I think I just like to know what's going on. So if you say, we're going on a trip, I want to know exactly where we're going so I know how to plan and prepare. That's just kind of my, that's me. As an Aries, you love it, but it, 
forgot. Has Cheryl been on Master Chef because the no. apron? No, you guys. But I wish. <laughs> I watch it all the time religiously, and I would give anything to be on that show. No, her kids got her that apron, you guys. Yeah. That's why she wears it. But no, she's. They know how much I love it. She's not been on Master Chef. No, no. <laughs> Who crushed first? Oh, I think we both did. I, I honestly mm -hmm. think we both did. Mm -hmm. You guys, the screensaver on my phone right now is the very go show her. Go first. Show her. Hold on. Go get your phone. Hold She's going to go show y'all something. Um, do we have kids? Cheryl has three kids, which means I have three step kids. Um, and then I, we have a fur baby. <sighs> Dream. <Okay. laughs> Look at this. Picture. Okay, you guys. Can you see it? Is that gorgeous? Oops, it went away. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the very first picture I saw of Tracy on Facebook. This was her profile picture. And so you can imagine, um, that's the vision I had in my head for five years. And then she came on in that orange hoodie. And I don't know if it was this picture or the orange hoodie that got me, but <laughs> something just literally drew me right in. <laughs> um, so someone asked about her, her children. How was it meeting them? They are lovely. They are adults. Um, and they are just successful and amazing human beings and very supportive of us. So we love that. They love her. Hey, Atlanta. They had oh. an orange hoodie, did it? I know. I know. <laughs> and I cooked Moroccan chicken and peppers for her. One of the Same. things. One of the many things. That's why it's still her Would we do dish, a cooking live? Yeah, I would love to do yes. that. Yeah. We're going to do that. Okay, so our next question is, how do y'all handle being amazing girl bosses? And how does that affect the relationship? Mm. <clears throat> That's a good question. Do you want to start? I, I can start that. There is so much respect for one another as women, um, as partners, but also as professionals. She, you know, we both work from home, so I'm allowed to get a, a very close look and listen to what she does and how she does it. And I'm never surprised. I'm always just blown away. And so the same, well, you can speak about, but the same is true. You know, we, we get to experience one, of the, uh, one mm -hmm. another's worlds. Though we have separate offices, there's still so much togetherness. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's the respect. It really goes down to that. You guys are both very independent, strong women. Mm -hmm. I'm Tracy. She's Cheryl. Um, strong, independent women who have successful careers and have, you know, done well for ourselves. And so coming together, like, again, the importance of just understanding, celebrating each other. Like, she's one of my biggest cheerleaders, if not my biggest one. Um, and so that's an important part, too. Your partner has to inspire you. Like, if your partner doesn't inspire you to do more, to be more, to want more, mm -hmm. you probably have the wrong person. Hey, Dre, I'm so glad you so made true. it. Your meeting must have ended early. All right, Leslie, do your families know about your new TikTok fame and what do they think? That's a great question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they do. My kids found out from their friends uh, that they used to work with and they, they sent all these screenshots, kept coming through to my son. And they said, is this your mom? And he <laughs> said, yeah, that's my mom. Like, that's my mom. And they would go, they said to him, we don't believe it. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> No, they're yes. having fun with so it. our families, um, my, my siblings are really excited. They love that we are connecting with lots of people. They're kind of surprised because we are pretty private. So it's a little bit different. All right. Yes, you did make it. Do you both have kids? Uh, advice for someone in their 20s who never had a relationship. Do you have oh, any advice? Heavens. Okay. Quick. Quick. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Um, you know, given the fact you haven't had a relationship when you decide to date or be in a relationship, you may just kind of feel like I need to do this now because it's getting so late and it's not late. You know, we found one another at 48 and 58, right? Mm -hmm. 59. Yeah. So, um, and it was worth the wait and I'm not saying it's going to take you guys that long, you know, to find your person. I hope it doesn't, but don't be in a rush. Continue <laughs> just to work on yourself and become everything you're looking for in another person yourself and then that person will recognize that in you and you'll have this amazing like connection because it's like a it's 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 like a mirror so honeymoon actually we've not had an official honeymoon but we've had several trips in the last year we love to travel so not an official one but we travel all the time Everyone wants to know finding love later in life. Yes, well, that's us. I mean, I've never been married, never thought I would get married. And then I found her and here I'm 50 years old, married, the happiest I've ever been. Um, it's amazing. 
So never give up. <laughs> First kiss story time. Uh-oh. I am not going there. If you want to share, you can. <laughs> Go ahead. Next. No. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Does anyone speak any other languages? Yes. Sí, ¿por qué no? <laughs> Poquito. Entiendo yeah. mucho español, yeah. pero yo tengo vergüenza cuando yo hablo español a veces. And yo I necesito practicar más. And I learned in la calle. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, kind of, but in school. So, yeah. I, I speak then, house Spanish, uh, restaurant Spanish. Restaurant Spanish, and I had a factory in New York, and so I speak factory Spanish. But I speak another language. Say it. Let's I go. speak Farsi. My children are half Persian, and uh, so I learn to read and write and speak Farsi. Say something. Salam khanam, hubhasti, du said daram. I just said, hi, 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 dear lady, how are you? I love you. Did you just tell me that you love me? Yeah. Okay. Du said daram. Okay. You can say manham. Manham. Me too. All right. Can you come to the UK? We would love to come to the yeah. UK. Yes, yes, yes. Just Janae. I'm so glad you didn't miss us. So we are so beautiful. Thank you Aww, so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, would we get matching tattoos? I, I don't, don't know. I don't. She doesn't I have don't any. I have a tattoo. That's not for any reason. I just never did. But guess how many tattoos I have. Can anyone guess? Put your guess in the chat. How many tattoos do I have? Tracy. Cheryl. Zero. Let's hear your guesses. How many tattoos do I have? I see a bunch of four, five, six, woo, one. You saw one? Three. <laughs> How many? Five. I, I actually have I four. I have four. One is here and it says love. And this one says always. I do have one on my back. You must've seen that in a picture. And it's Weddings. in the moment, living in the moment. Salam, someone says. Salam khanam. Or is it, is it a man or a woman? I don't know. Oh, I missed it. Re um, hello from Oklahoma. I'm from Tulsa, Lucy. Oh, there's more Farsi. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, um, we, what's the significance of each ceremony? If you could, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I know we've communicated a lot. Um, our first was just wanting to be an intimate ceremony just mm -hmm. between the two of us and the judge. We just really wanted to have our own space for that. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Vegas for a little um, Elvis ceremony, which was so fun. And I guess I'd always wanted to get married in Vegas. And so we were going to Vegas anyway. And so Tracy planned kind of a little surprise, like, you know, renew our vows one month after we got married. And then everyone in our life, and that was alone as well. And then everyone in our lives was like, wait a minute, we missed out on this. We want to join in, you know, the celebration and the fun and the love. And so we decided to have a reception. And so that was in June. Our third ceremony. That was our third one. The reception. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was our third ceremony. We renewed our vows there too. So. And the fourth one is going to be in the fall with our yeah. TikTok TC yeah. fam. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. Fun. Yes, yes, yes. We're so excited. Yes. Thank you so much for the follow. What do we do for the a living? The is perfect. I'm an educator. Cheryl's an interior designer. Interior design. Oh, the latest place we've traveled together and had the best time there? I think what it was um, San Miguel. We Did love San yeah. Miguel, Mexico. San Miguel was magical. It really was. The architecture and just the, the cobblestone and um, the food was great. The place we stayed was We love amazing. Mexico. Yeah, we love Mexico. We're going back here actually this yeah. month. We're going back to yeah. Mexico. Um, what's an idea of a great, an ideal date night? Hmm. Something where you can talk and have a conversation. Definitely so like a movie, that. not a good idea because you can't really talk. So an opportunity to really be able to talk and have good conversation. We really love live music. Mm -hmm. And so if it's not too crazy, we love to go to music events and um, yeah, but dinner and music, love. Would we do a meet and greet? Yes. yes. I told Cher about that. She's like a meet and greet. I'm like, yeah, so yeah. we can just meet people and just meet yeah. our TC fam in person. That would be fun. Yeah. It'll probably be in Dallas. So, hey, I guess you'll have to get to Dallas. <laughs> How long were you dating before Tracy proposed? Well, I proposed first. And then I proposed three days later. Three days later. So. So <laughs> we'd known each other for what, a year? Yeah. About a year, about I a year. guess. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of got very intentional for, you know, several months before we um, decided 
I decided first that I wanted to spend my life with her. So. Paul, where do you live in Mexico? You live in a beautiful, magical town too. We want to really hear about that. Happy Pride. Happy wedding in October. What do we do for a living? We both seem well off. <laughs> um, again, educator, interior designer. That's hard our work. work. <laughs> hard work. We do. We work hard. <laughs> yeah. Do I have a lesbian twin that's single? I don't. I have a sister, but she's not a lesbian. So I'm sorry. She's off the. She's off the record. Off the market. <laughs> Jaina, so we're so happy to see you too. Yes, had I planned on proposing to Cheryl before she did? Yes, I was already shopping for a ring. She didn't know, but I was ring shopping and she just actually beat me to it, so. And you guys, in that video that was posted of Tracy proposing to me, I cannot tell you because three days before I proposed to her, so who would think that there was a ring in that bag? I thought it was very light. I thought, oh, she got me a pair of gloves. She got me, a, I don't know what, a scarf because it weighed nothing. And, you know, and I'm just throwing the tissue and having fun and never for a moment did I think that she was going to propose to me. I thought when we get married, I'll just get a band and, you know, we'll just move on. <laughs> it was wonderful. And Alicia said, I've watched it too many times. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do we like? We like all kinds of music. We love old school R and B. Um, I, I like R and B is my favorite. Yeah, I like love songs, like yeah. rock, eighties, nineties, country, everything. I don't like country. What do we fight about? We seem so calm. Nothing. Mm -mm. Like it's just. Mm -mm. Let me tell you what what happens when we get into it. Like I'm stressed or she's stressed, and we're like, you know, kind of like not our typical chipper self. And then I'll say to her, "How long are you gonna be mad?" And she'll say, 10 seconds." And then she asked me, how long are you going to be mad? And I'm like, oh, probably a whole 60 seconds or a minute or so. And then we just let it go. Yeah, like we it's, just go our separate ways. And we just let it go. And then sometimes I'll walk back in her room, in the, her office and I'll say, you still mad? And then she when I'm not. really being stubborn, because I'm an Aries, I may say, yes. And then she'll say, but are you hungry? And I'll say, yes. And then that's it. And it's all <laughs> over. Like it's, <laughs> that's the truth. It's really like that too. So... <laughs> Um, what else? What else? What else? Courtney's laughing at us. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, you guys. Appreciate that. Thank you so much for the gifts and the likes. Appreciate that so much. Um, oh, our sign, of course, I'm an Aries and she's a Leo. Hello from Peru. We love you too. Can you barbecue? I'm not great on a grill. Mm -mm. I can do everything else. Mm -hmm. I cook my steaks or whatever in a cast iron skillet and that's, you know, and then pop it in the oven. So it, it works. Theo said, when are we going to work with you, baby? We, I, I promise. <laughs> I promise. We said that last week and we have commented to several people that we're going to do that. And I promise you we will do that. And I'm going to try to do it this week. Yeah. She's, we're going to try. Thank you I'm so much. I'm going on Saturday to a job tomorrow. I mm -hmm. may do some filming. And, and she might yeah. do that. Yeah. I'm Meg is in London. It's 2 a.m. Thank you for staying oh, up, Meg. We appreciate so you. Bella, wishing you a lifetime of happiness. Thank you so much. Wishing the same thing for you all. Um, we are just, we're just so happy to be here and just have such a great TC fam. How do you individually handle stress? Um, for me, mm. I decompress. I have to have quiet time where I'm by myself and I'm just reflecting. I journal. That helps me and just, just peace, really. That helps me handle stress. Mm -hmm. What about you? It's funny because she's an introvert and I, I may look like one, but I'm not. I'm an extrovert. And so we, we go about it differently. Um, she wants to go internal and I want to go external. Like I need to talk to her. I need to touch home base. I need to say it all. I need to hear it again. I need to talk through it so I can make sense of what's in my head versus what's actually real. And so she's my, my go-to to kind of um, balance it all out and find peace. All right, what else? Lex is distracted by your red lips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and Greece, thank you for being here. Oh, Theo, Aww. we're going to get shirts made too. We're going to try to work on that this weekend. What is your ethnicity? I am Irish and Danish. Yeah, my dad was English. So, but yeah. I'm a sister. I'm a sister. She's a beautiful sister. Um, pet peeves. Mm -hmm. I don't really, really, honestly, I know this sounds silly, but I can't even think of one that I can think of right now. But let me keep thinking, I might think of something. No. 
She said no. I wouldn't been... like it if somebody left trash in my car because I keep my car really clean. That would drive me crazy. But, or eating in the car and dripping things. Every, I don't know. That would probably bother me. But we don't. We're very respectful of our things and each other and our space. And so it just it's really easy. So someone has been posting about a coming out story and I can share mine. Uh, it really wasn't really coming out because my mom kind of knew. But, you know, I've always known that I was gay. Um, and so in high school, I had a girlfriend, but I really didn't, I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my siblings. It was just kind of my, um, just my secret that I just kept. And so at 16 years old, I came home from just hanging out with my friend um, for a while. And my mom said, you really like her, don't you? And then she's like, I, I, I know, I actually know. And that was a 16 years old. My mom told me that she knew. And from then on, my family's been super supportive and just, it's been, a you know, I'm so blessed to have the support of my family and I'm 50. You're right. Moms always know. Moms pretty much know. Sure. So that's my coming out story. Um, and I've been out since then. Not this out, but out. <laughs> We should be called cherries, but that was one of the, yeah, that a was lot one of, of the guesses. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is amazing to have that support, Latricia. I, I agree with you. It's, it's amazing. Did y'all play sports? No. I, I didn't play sports, but I had a cycling team and I did long distance cycling for many years. Mm -hmm. I would ride the MS 150s um, in Atlanta and uh, Fort Worth to, to Frisco and did the hotter than hell several times. And so cycling was my, my uh, sport. And, and then I was way into weightlifting, body, bodybuilding, but not for competition. Yeah. Uh, Tail and Erica, who made the first move? Hmm. Was that Leo thing? Thank you, Ray. You guys are so adorable together. Thank you guys so much. Thank You're you. so sweet. Aww. I'm happy you called us on live too, Nat. You're surprised I'm Danish? My grandfather was 6'4", they called him the Great Dane, and he's the only one that had blue eyes. So uh, it was my grandfather, me, my uncle. My parents both had brown eyes, and uh, yeah, so definitely. <laughs> Who gave me that hat? That was cute. I got that I one again. That. I know. <laughs> Hi from Brazil. We have Hello, so many great folks in Brazil that we've, we've met on TikTok. You're also Danish. <laughs> I love it. Lois, she is. She is such a Leo. She really is. Yeah. Favorite flowers? I love birds of paradise. I love tropical arrangements. Those are my favorite. Mine, um, Casablanca lilies and peonies. Mm -hmm. I love the way they smell. Our favorite dates, um, probably, well, we, paint, we, we did painting with a twist. We posted that, that was probably a favorite. Um, one I'm gonna post tomorrow is probably a favorite, but I don't wanna say it because no, we're gonna post it. it. No, <laughs> Um, I love to go to musical events with Tracy and dance. I love live dance performances, uh, very art, arts type, you know, driven. Yeah. And then when we're at home, we like to play games. We play Sounds games. very boring, but know, we like love cards. to laugh. And so we get to laugh and talk about our day and all that stuff and just kind of unwind and do something that's mindless. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things both of us do for, uh, to relieve stress is mm -hmm. just laugh, you know, take our minds off of what's going on. Yeah, do a story time. We've, we've done a, like a 17 yeah. story times and uh, we encourage you to go to our page. We have so much there. Uh, words of wisdom to have a successful relationship. I am a natural ginger. I have a whole family full of redheads. Go ahead, David. Sorry. That's okay. Um, favorite. Um, I forgot what it, I forgot what it was now. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, thoughts on being a successful relationship, having a successful relationship. We talked about respect um, honoring each other's space. I think that's an important part of the relationship too. And then being able to manage conflict in a way that's healthy and support you in the relationship. Any favorite TV shows? <laughs> we have a few. RuPaul. <laughs> we are RuPaul junkies, like crazy. And cooking shows. That's the mm -hmm. other thing. And thank God she likes cooking shows as well, because I, I, I can stay up all night and watch an entire season of MasterChef in one night, old season. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, um, I like any kind of reality. So I like Survivor. That's a, that's a fun show too, I enjoy. We've not seen Abbott Elementary, you guys, but we're going to, we're going to record ourselves watching it because you all keep telling us yeah. to watch it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Trixie, yes, we like Trixie and Katya. We like both of them. We're watching the, um, tonight is a new episode. We're watching the All-Stars right now. 
We will not be attending Pride. That's not our plan right now. Um, our alma mater, all in Texas, Texas Women's University, Texas A&M, and SMU. Do you watch 911? No, I've never watched that. Let's see. It's going so fast. We're trying to I read know. the comments, but it's like, then it's I can gone. hear y'all talk 24-7. Mm -hmm. Did you get to keep the paintings? Yes, we have them. I should go get them. That'd be funny. No, we still have the paintings, you guys. It's a hot mess. It's a hot <laughs> mess. Hi from Dallas. Any advice on coming out to homophobic family members? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really important that you um, own your story, your space, your your decision, and let them know because um, sometimes people are not going to agree with you. Oftentimes they're not. And they need to know that you're firm in your decision, that you've thought about it and this is who you are and you want them to be able to walk with you and share life with you and accept you. Um, and, you know, part of it is you're, ha you're going to have to accept yourself, you know, and then when they understand that this is not a phase, this is not a whatever it is they might, might say or try to pray away or, you know, talk away, um, no, this is who I am. And if they love you and they do, they're your family or your friends, they're, they're going to walk with you. Yes, you can draw us, please, friend. And I want to know your name because I just see dots. I see like a little thought bubble, but you always interact with us, but you absolutely can draw us. Someone else said they're from Dallas. I think it was Calandria, if that's your name. Hello from Dallas. Turkey, I love it. Mm -hmm. I can't see very well. What are y'all saying? No, I've not watched the L word. I all. never watched it no. either. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Um, do you all have a song? Yes, we have We have lots of songs. We love SWV Week is one of our favorite songs. We love Kim. Kim. Any of Kim's Kim songs. Just, we've seen him, what, now two or three times in the last, what, six months? Every time he comes to Dallas, we're there. We must watch the L word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're missing out. Okay, we've never watched it. I had the whole season yes. before, and I never even opened the really? box. Yes, and I don't know why. It was I've had it for forever. Do we do we bump heads? Yes, we're two fire signs. We disagree sometimes, she but said again, we look like Kim fans. We are. As I, Kim yeah. is so talented, and I love his story. I love his heart, and you know his. He loves his family, and I've been going to Kim long before he got married. And his shows are really different now. He, he just shows up differently. And I'm just, mm -hmm. I have so much respect for him. All right, Aurora, we love you too. Thank you. Um, someone else is trying to join our live. You guys, I'm not gonna let that happen again. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're in Dallas, but believe it or not, our biggest number of followers, the city, is Houston. Out of the entire world is Houston. So something yeah. about Houston, a lot of folks in Houston follow us for some reason. <laughs> Yes, we love Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift for sure. Yes, H Town. A lot of Houston folks are um, Any following hidden, us. Hidden talents? Any hidden talents? Well, yeah, they're hidden for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride Month. <laughs> what happened the last time someone joined live? You guys, you know we're new to this. I just pressed a button and three people were on the screen with us. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Let us know who they are. Hello from California. <laughs> Trace should be a comedian. Leo's Can you say that not... again, that I should be a comedian? Oh, yeah. Can you oh, say no. it again? No. She's, <laughs> it's constant, nonstop. <laughs> oh, no, you guys I'm are not so a sweet. professor at A&M. No. I've taught at SMU, though. Mobile. You know some French words. Yeah. Maybe, uh, uh, I just forgot them. May we? <laughs> Hello from West Africa. Oh, Thank I you love so much. It. New Jersey. Do we like ABBA? Yeah. Yes, we like ABBA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? You made it, Dee. Thank you. So glad that Hi you're here. Georgia. I went to design school in Georgia. I love Georgia. Okay, do you want to show them the book? Because someone told what us book? to get a book. Oh, yeah. Okay, there was a book that you are telling us to get. And so, and several here of it you is. Asked, several of you asked what our favorite books are to read. So this has been mentioned so many times. And so I went to get it. So I can't wait to read it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to read that one. Um, my favorite book right now is Atomic Habits because I'm kind of a nerd and it's really about how can you create really super habits um, that will help you be successful. So I love that one. 
Advice for two, fire signs when there's a disagreement. Respect. Kisses from Brazil. Understand Cheryl. the other person's point of view. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> sorry, get back over here. <laughs> um, hello from the Philippines. Hi, Diane. Yes, we love the Caribbean. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I love her eyes and her hands. We can't wait to read that. They show the paintings. I'm sorry. It's okay, Leo and Aries. Yeah, Cheryl, can you sing? There it is again. Okay, so listen, guys. Um, I used to be able to hum really well, and sometimes I could sing a song if it was in the right key. And then I got pneumonia, and I'm not kidding you, for like six months, and there went my voice. And now I, it's like there's, there's, it doesn't do like that. It's, <laughs> you, you, it's all over the place. So no, I don't sing. Hi, Lisa. I don't teach. I'm in education, but I don't teach. But I used to teach English, English teacher. Her hidden talent. Talent is drawing the bridges. <laughs> I love Paid it. By numbers. <laughs> Tell about your red lipstick, baby. Oh, it's a Sephora cream lip stain, and it's color ninety-five. How long have we been married? About a year and three months. Yeah. How do we feel about brunch? I mean, we we love brunch. We're probably going to brunch on Sunday. Sure. So yes. What else? Any advice for future educators? Oh my gosh. Go in it with go colors. Go future educators, like um, be committed to your purpose and be student centered. Like keep students at the front and center of everything you do, and you're gonna do great. Thank you. Do you do internships? Yes, actually I do. You met with someone just yeah, I just met with someone yesterday for about two hours about uh, doing an internship. And for sure, every summer I have someone, but sometimes, you know, when it's not the summer, you know, they still... Oh, my God. What does it say? Bun Bun, you are cracking us up. Do you, do you want a dog? I can bark. Hilarious. <laughs> we actually have a dog who might be offended by that. Yeah, he, he doesn't like company. <laughs> Our dream vacation. We want to go to the Maldives. Yes. Santorini, do. Greece. Mm -hmm. Where else? Some other places, I'm sure. <laughs> I'd like to go back to Bali. Mm. It's so beautiful. Show us the dog. He's oh, heavens. Uh, he's asleep. Let he's, me go get him. He's uh, he's out. Come on, Jax. Um, favorite memories with each other so far? I think it's uh, it's all of our ceremonies. It's meeting. We're we're still like in the first you know year and year and a half of being. There's Jax. <laughs> he was sleeping. This is Jax Brown. Boy. He's 13 and a half. <laughs> we think. He's like he, can't, he can't see in here. Yes, he can. Okay. Not well. Mm -hmm. But we love him. What else? Yep, that's our baby. <laughs> he has Tracy's eyes. How cute. Aww. <laughs> He's a cutie. Thank you. He's yes. so spoiled. <laughs> Advice for those who haven't met someone? That's an old man, you're right. <laughs> Tracy's giggle, I love her giggle. Yes, oh, he yeah. can. <laughs> house tour this weekend. We're ready for the house tour. We'll do it this weekend, you guys. You can be a house plant, Athena. Okay. <laughs> she did throw him under the bus. You guys, she always does, she always does jacks like that. It's just so hurtful. It just hurts my feelings. But see, what you don't understand is today, Tracy was gone and I went in, because I'd have to check on him a few times a day just to make sure. And, and he's sitting there and he's looking like over here and I'm right here where you guys are. And, and I'm like, Jax, Jax, Jax. And he's looking over there and he's looking like this, like, and I'm standing like six inches from him. He was ignoring her because she did not come with treats. If she had come in with a treat, he would have listened to her. He can hear. He understands and hears one word and it's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want kids? Did y'all hear how old we are? I'm 50. Oh, you know, um, I, I Cheryl have, has three kids. I have three grown kids. Yeah. <laughs> We're not starting so, over. No, no. I, I'm hoping for some, some, for them to have some kids. Ashley and Amy. Yeah. Chicago. We love Chicago. I'll be in Chicago in July, actually, for work. Someone said I can be a couch. You can be a couch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Y'all are so funny. We oh, love y'all so much. <laughs> A little like Nicole Kidman saying Aww. hi from Brooklyn. Hello. 
Cheryl's daughter lives in Brooklyn. Yeah, my youngest daughter lives in Brooklyn. Belize. I love Belize. What is that? I'll be a floor mat. <laughs> <laughs> and a broom. You guys are so funny. <laughs> well, you are already our nieces. Mm -hmm. What's been the most surprising best part of your relationship? Oh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna tell yeah, I'm gonna say mine. I don't I think I've told her this, but you know what the best part of the relationship is? It's gonna sound so weird. It's like getting in the bed at night and just having someone that you can hold and you can be close to. I always had trouble falling asleep. And they say that when you're next to the person that you love, like your heart rate goes down and you just sleep so much better. I've had the best sleep of my entire life the last year and something. Mm -hmm. The best sleep in my entire life. So that's my favorite thing about our relationship. <laughs> What's yours? There's so many things. Um, favorite thing. I think it's having someone to take everything to, you know, and it's always safe and it's always heard and it's always considered and um, there's good feedback and um, support. I think that's my favorite thing because I, I really haven't had that in my life. I've had it with girlfriends, you know, my friends, girlfriends and um, my mom and um, but I never really had it in a relationship the way I oh my wanted God. it and needed it. What was I'm sorry, Alexis. That's okay. It's co Alexis's <laughs> comment. What is that? <laughs> Read it. I want to be the skillet that Cheryl cooks the steak. I was distracted. <laughs> sorry, that was funny. Sorry, babe. That's okay. Okay, Alexis. I guess I was done. Yep. Aw. <laughs> Help. I could be the lipstick. <laughs> That's a good one. Katara, 16. Oh. How do How we do feel, we feel about, PDA? about PDA? Well, <laughs> here we are, <laughs> hugging all over each other. Like, and the reality is, like, I never really was big into PDA, even though I've always been out. Um, but she's more into it than I am. So, like, when we are out, she's the one, because of physical touch, who's usually, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I don't care who's around. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not disrespectful with it, but I'm... It, it's really strange, and I, I know she can vouch for, for this. It's like there's no one else in the world. What you see here is what you're going to see at True Lux if you see us or wherever we are. Mm -hmm. You know, in the grocery store, pushing the cart. It's this is us. That's true. Yeah. How could what else, you guys? We have a couple minutes left. What else do you have for us? You want to be the cars that Cheryl throws? <laughs> Y'all, she's going to throw the cards. I'm already telling yeah. you, when we end the live tonight, we're going to play cards. And I'm going to videotape it so that I can show y'all. Because she's not, she's a beast at the card table. Hi from New Zealand. We live in Texas. We are in Texas. We play Uno, Phase 10. Um, we have Skipbo. We have Dice. We play Dice. We have Monopoly. We love games. We're pretty yes. stuck on Phase 10 right now. Are you guys soft with each other? Yeah, soft? You yes, know what she says, constant. you guys? This is what happens. She'll say, are you the little baby or the big baby? Because sometimes I'm kind of a baby and I'll say, I'm the little baby. And so I'll ask her, are you the little baby or the big baby right now? She'll say, I'm the little baby. So then I know I need to give her a little bit extra more <laughs> attention <laughs> because she's the little baby. <laughs> I'm so sick of seeing you too. <laughs> we love <Okay>. you too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, love wins, Jewel. That's right, Jax. No, oh, now you can hear. <laughs> Do you still have the car you had your first kiss in? No, I got another car. Lane's yeah. telling our business. Yeah. I Lane. What? Telling our business that we kissed in the car. Yeah. No, she has a different car now. Yeah. Jax is jealous. <laughs> he is. He is. It's true. All right, you guys. We thank you, Scotland. Um, we have a few minutes left. Is there anything else real quick that we can answer for you all? We are so happy to spend an hour with you all today. Thank you all for the likes, the gifts, the follows. We would love to come to South Africa. Yes, we Who would. falls asleep first? I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, stay. Oh, we need, we need two, two hours. hours. <laughs> I don't know if our moderators would agree to that. They're like, um, no. <laughs> No, we don't do puzzles, really. I don't mm. think I'm patient enough for puzzles. No, I, that, no, I'd fall asleep at the table. <laughs> I'm glad Ashley and Amy can do that. <laughs> I 
I don't think I'm patient enough. I don't either. I don't, I don't think I'm I am. I'm kind of an immediate need. Like I need, I need some more action. The painting, please. I'll go get it. Let me go get it really fast. Keep talking, baby. I can go and get it. Okay. Yeah. Because you don't know where it is. Yes, I do. Oh, you do? She didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> she by herself. Like she was scared, you know. So she's going to get our um, paintings so that you can see them in person, okay? Um, she gets nervous, she does. She, she's not shy, Courtney. Don't let it fool you, she's not at all. Any exciting vacations? Yes, we love going to Uno Brazo. Um, we love going to Mexico, we love, we love traveling everywhere. We, we go everywhere. <laughs> My sign, I'm an Aries. Okay, you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna hold, we're gonna show you our paintings and I want you to um, tell me which one you like the best. <laughs> this is, is this mine? No, it's not. <laughs> this is my beautiful. Hold it up. I, I got this. This is my beautiful painting with a twist. <laughs> and you can see the beautiful buildings, the trees, the water. The, excuse me, the, um, the, look, um, look at the waves in the water, the waves in the ocean. <laughs> if you vote for mine. Okay. Your turn. <laughs> You're not going to show mine. You can hold yours. Okay. Here you go. A little more calm in the sea. <laughs> not quite as much light from the lamp post. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it together now. See, the, the, the objective was these bridges were supposed to hooked together, see? I don't know what happened. Because we were painting side by side. What happened? <laughs> what happened? It's like in a different country. <laughs> anyway, so uh, someone said, Cheryl's winning. Yeah. I think we need to mute that person. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Cheryl's being petty. Thank you, Theo. She petty. is. She's always petty. See, for the win, Rebecca's on my side. <laughs> oh. All right, you guys. Um, we love y'all so much. Oh. This was so much fun. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to go live again this week. Can you buy them, Veronica? Um, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was too fast. <laughs> I think she wants to sell mine. Oh my God. <laughs> no, they come as a pair. <laughs> we love you all so much. Thank you all for a great Friday night. And we're probably going to post something here pretty soon. We will. We yeah. love you all so much. Thank you. Bye, TC fam. Mwah, 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 Have a great mwah, weekend. Mwah, 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 we mwah, love mwah. you. <laughs>